Today is Wednesday, Parashat Vaishlach. Parashat this week tells us about the famous struggle between Yaakov and the angel of Esav. And that struggle is a, a struggle that is representative of goodness versus evil. Esav represents the evil, represents the idea of trying to stop Am Israel from progressing in Torah and from learning, because Yaakov represented Torah. And Esav was a, a sort of like a, a symbol of cruelty and evil. From him came Amalek. From him came afterwards the, the Nazis were descendants of Amalek, were descendants of Esav. That struggle between the angel of Esav and Yaakov is representative of that struggle that will go on until Mashiach comes. However, we see here that Yaakov was able to prevail in that struggle. Yes, he was injured in his thigh, in his kaf yerech Yaakov. He was injured there, but at the same time he prevailed. And that, in that struggle, and him prevailing over even an angel, he gained the name of Israel. He was called until now Yaakov, but he became the name of Israel, which would mean <coughs> that, uh, that, that he would be able, like the Pasuk says, Lo Yaakov Yamer Ochincha ki im Israel ki Sarita im Elohim vimanashim vatuchal. So your name will no longer be Yaakov, but Israel, because you've striven with the divine and with men and you have overcome, you were able to overcome. So that struggle, which was difficult struggle, but at, when he prevailed, he gained that name of Israel, which is a, a kind of higher level spiritually than the name of Yaakov. Yet he was injured, yes, but even with that injury, he was able to prevail. And here we see why would Esav, or the angel of Esav rather, or that representative of the evil forces try to attack Yaakov and not Yitzchak or Abraham? Because they were the beginning of the Jewish people, Abraham and then Yitzchak and then Yaakov, because Abraham was chesed, Yitzchak was service of Hashem. Yaakov was Torah. And Torah is really the true guarantee of the eternity of Am Yisrael. Because there will be a lot of organizations that have done a lot of chesed or service may have built beautiful synagogues. But if they did not make sure to bring Torah teaching into their projects for the community, those community would not last. And uh, that's why also the area where he was able to harm Yaakov was next to his thigh, which is in Hebrew, in some of the other places in the Torah, we refer to that as the descendants of a person. Like we'd say, Yotzei Yerech Yaakov, the one who come from his thigh, meaning that are his descendants. If there is one place of vulnerability for the Jewish people, is the, Jew, is the children, the next generation. And therefore, if we want our communities to be strong and to continue and our next generations to have a strong Jewish identity or to make sure to teach them in the way of Torah and mitzvot. So at the same time, we see here that a time of struggle was a time also of growth and coming to a higher level after that struggle with the angel. And we see this also closer to the end of the parasha when Rachel had Binyamin, she called him Ben-Oni, which means the son of my suffering, because she passed away at, at his birth. So he was a, a, a son of suffering, but at the same time, Yaakov called him Binyamin, which is the son of the right. And the right hand is usually more strong. Also Ben-Oni, the Ramban says, Oni is strength. In other words, sometimes through the challenge and through the difficulty, and sometimes the suffering even, a person can grow and become a better person as he overcomes, just like in the case here, with overcoming the Yetzirah, with all these challenges and all the struggle that sometimes anybody can have in any time during his life, overcoming that struggle with Yetzirah, a person can come to a higher level and become even a better person, as we see here, when Yaakov became Israel through that struggle with the angel of Esau that represented Yetzirah.
ברוך אדוני לעולם, אמן ואמן.